Hey guys, so before we get started today, I just wanted to say a big thank you to the person that left me that comment in yesterday's video, letting me know that there was footage missing from the video. Um, I was gone for a good chunk of the day, and I came home, and when I saw that, I was like, oh no. So I went and checked, and what happened was when I was using my video editing software, I accidentally left a piece of a big piece of footage um, behind. So I deleted the video. I ran everything through the software again and re-uploaded it to YouTube. So if you saw that video yesterday early and you thought something looked strange, that's what happened. So it's it's okay now. So. Thank you to that person that let me know. Okay, so I'm going to just start off by moisturizing my lips with my Hard Candy Glossotopia Lip Repair Oil in Crystal Clarity, I think this is called. Got to get some moisture on those lips. Yeah, Crystal Clarity. So I had something really strange happen yesterday, um, which I will tell you about when we get to that the that product that I'm going to use in the routine. But it it was really weird, and uh, you'll have to let me know if anything like that has ever happened to you. I'm going to use an assortment of things today that are, some things are new, some things are classic that I repurchased recently that I just haven't shown you yet. Oh, I went um, back to Walmart and grabbed a couple bottles of the Nails ink um, polish. I was talking in yesterday's video about how I had bought the top coat and how much I loved it. Well, I went back and got a couple bottles of the polish. And there's what it looks like. This is the shade Ruby. I don't know why they call it Ruby because it's not red, but that's what it looks like. So it's it's like a, I'm going to say like a peachy gold or a rose gold, but this, this is base coat, a different base coat, not theirs. One coat of polish and then their top coat. Well, let's see how long it lasts. So I painted my nails Saturday night, last night. So we'll see, yeah, we'll see how long this lasts now with their top coat on it with just one coat of polish. Should be interesting. And I also got this one, which is called Lana, which is a lilac shimmer. But the ruby one is like a very, very finely milled glitter. So half, half of everything on the display was gone already. Half. So I was really lucky to get these two beautiful colors because if I went back today, it's probably all gone now. It's awful how fast things move at stores. It's like if you're not right there at that time, you know. All right, today we're using Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. Yeah, we've got an assortment of old and new stuff in today's video. And when I say old, I mean I repurchased some products that have been around for as long as I can remember, and I can't believe they even still make them because you know how that goes. You know, things that people love that they repurchase over and over again, Companies don't care, you know, if the sales drop off, they don't make it anymore. And I was like, 
I'm going to repurchase these because they are like tried and true things that are very inexpensive, that are beautiful. And I said, yeah, I want to have these in my collection again because who knows how much longer they'll be around. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get to that portion of the video. Okay, so primer is on. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my NYX Pro Fix Stick corrector that I just used on my neck and my chin area. And we're going to put that under my eyes. And we're going to put it over my eyes. so that we can try to correct some of the redness in that area. And then I'm going to take Hard Candy Glamouflage Pro Full Coverage Concealer and my shade is light. And they sell Hard Candy brand at Walmart. And we're going to use Hard Candy Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. And I have the shade um, Natural in this, which is like my summer color. Um, so this may be a bit too dark for now, but um, it's, it's what we're using because in case you didn't realize, what I've been doing is using a different foundation every single day until we get through my entire foundation collection. Um, I just thought it would be fun to, you know, mix it up and use different things instead of using the same thing every single day. I did repurchase the CoverGirl foundations because I was running out, but I was like, yeah, before I start jumping back into that, and I don't even know that I'm going to jump into it to use every day anymore, because this is kind of fun using different foundations every day. I'm enjoying the variety of product and it's making me remember like which things I like the most. Yeah, you can tell that this is like my summer shade because it has a slight tan to it. But once I set everything with powder and have blush on and everything, it'll it'll be okay. We're gonna make it work. Whoa! No, no, no! I just knocked it over and I didn't have the cap on yet. Fortunately, this foundation is thick enough that it didn't make a huge mess everywhere. It only spilled a little bit on one of my brush handles. Oh, that could have been a catastrophe if it was like a liquid foundation. All right, I think that's blended enough. Let's put this sucker aside. <laughs> All right, and we might as well use the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Loose Powder, and this is translucent. 
in my e.l.f. powder brush and there is a sifter but I'm still gonna like tap off the excess into the cover. This is a very finely milled powder so it's pretty easy to work with. And even though it says translucent, it's white. So that's going to take down some of the um, fact that the foundation is too dark. Yep, it did. Okay, good. So now we're going to go in with my e.l.f. putty bronzer in tan lines, which I almost don't even need because of the color of the foundation. Um, e.l.f. putty blush brush. And we're just going to do the perimeter. And that is that. And we're doing uh, plum for the lips and um, cheeks. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in the shade very well. And this is, you know, like a plum berry. Plum and berry can be pretty much the same color. Okay, so I'm going to dab some of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade Fair One. And dab some of that. And then take my makeup sponge and mix it together. And this is a very strong color. And we're just going to dab that in the area where I like to put blush and highlighter. And thank you again to the person that recommended that I mix these two together because this is working out great and I love the combination. Oh, okay. So I'm moving the sponge now to like a, a clean area. Oh no. Okay, we can fix that. And you know how? Powder. If you ever have too much blush in one area, you can fix it with powder and it will blend it out. This side looks good. I don't need to change that. Now if I can find the section that has the blush on it, because there's like an empty spot there. Hmm. I think I'm going to need to add more. Let's see if I can just take what's left on the back of my hand. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay, right? I mean, it's never going to be perfect. 
Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. All right, let's do my brows. Elf Shape and Stay Brow Pencil. And just run that right over my brows. And this is just a clear wax. Very inexpensive. MAC Omega Eyeshadow with the Moda Brow Brush. Okay. All right. So for my eyes, when I went to Walgreens that day, when I got the Wet n Wild Always Naked palette, which I love, by the way, and I definitely want to use that again in a video. Um, I got to get this blush off my hand. It's really bothering me. Be right back. Yeah. So anyways, I was saying that the day that I went to Walgreens and bought that Always Naked uh eyeshadow palette by Wet n Wild, I was noticing that they still had the singles. How many of you still have Nutty and Brulee in your collection? I love these. They are so good. And they're like 98 cents, I think, or something like that. Something like that. So I'm just going to start with brulee, and I'm actually going to take a pretty good size blending brush, and I'm going to dust that generously over this brow area in our corner. And the thing with Nutty is it's a gorgeous, like, shimmery taupe, but it's a one-and-done eyeshadow. So I should be able to, and I'm just going to dust off my brush. It just had brulee on it, no biggie. But I'm going to take this same brush in Nutty. And yeah, this should be just a one and done eyeshadow. Just dust it over the entire lid area and then put like extra in that outer corner and then drag it back down into the crease. Yeah, it's a beautiful taupe. Kind of warm, but goes good with my nail polish. Okay, so now it's going to be like story time. While I'm finishing this up. Okay, so I went to a CVS yesterday that I don't normally go to. 
And the reason why I like to go to that CVS sometimes is because they have tons of cardboard displays with, you know, like special stuff that isn't in the regular section. So I'm looking around and looking around and at first I don't see anything um, unusual, but I did find a display that had all the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Topia mascaras on it, including the Ultramarine one that I love, so I bought a backup. So now I have a backup of that because I still don't know if that shade is going to be permanent or not. So considering how often I use that and how much I love it, I thought I had better use it, uh, grab it while I could. But then I see some more CoverGirl stuff and I'm like, oh, what is this? I've never seen this before. I've never heard anything about it. They had blush palettes, CoverGirl Clean Fresh Blush Palette. I have it in the shade 100 Dream in Pink. What I did not realize was that there were three different palettes. And the picture I saw on the display was really pretty. And then I got home and I opened this up and I was like, this is not like what I saw in the picture, not realizing there were three different palettes. But this is the one I got. I can tell you right now, this shade right here will probably get a decent amount of use, but I've already applied my blush, so I don't want to do any more, but I will swatch this for you. So though those are the three shades. So yeah, that one in the middle will get the most use because these other ones are very peachy. So I don't know why they called this Dream in Pink when really the only one, in the center one is the only one that's really pink. So that's not it. I also got this. This was on that same display. CoverGirl Creamy Eyeshadow Stick. And I, it came in three shades. I bought the shade Greenscape. So it's this beautiful, like, jade green. Obviously, I'm not going to use this as an eyeshadow because I just already put eyeshadow on, but... I'm going to drag this along the lower lash line because it's got a very small tip on it for an eyeshadow stick. So I thought, okay. Yeah, let's just take this right on the lash line. And I thought that it would actually look quite pretty with that warm taupe eyeshadow that I used, right? That coordinates nicely. But here's the weird thing about all this. Never heard of these products. Never seen them anywhere. I just assumed that they were brand new. came home, started doing some research, and found out that these products are three years old. Now, how could CVS have a display out like that that's three years old when they're always changing out that stuff? I looked up YouTube videos, and people were showing these three years ago. <laughs> It was like, great, they're already expired, and I just bought them, and they weren't cheap. The original price on these things were, this was original price eleven twenty two, but I had a coupon, so I didn't pay that for it. The original price on this was ten thirty three, and again, I did not pay ten thirty three because I had coupons, and I had, um, I had percentage off coupons, and I had extra care bucks. But, um, yeah, I'm curious to see how I'm going to like the blush. So this must have been when CoverGirl first, first launched all their clean, fresh makeup. And um, so I don't know how CVS could have a display uh, sitting out there for three years. So my husband said that he thought maybe what happened was maybe they found a back box in the back one day and said, oh, wow, what is this? We never put this out, and just decided to put it out anyway, even though it had been sitting around forever. 
Um, and that sounds like a good theory to me. I bet you that is what happened. All right, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my e.l.f. Lock on liner and brow cream in the shade light brown, and I'm going to put this on my waterline. So I'm going to grab a small angled brush. So isn't that strange? I mean, they don't have a bad smell to them, and I've only just used the eyeshadow stick just now as a liner, but yeah, they don't. I smelled the blush palette too, and they don't smell bad. And they're not discolored. They don't feel weird. I did swatches. So, yeah, just wanted to give you a heads up on that in case you don't want to buy three year old makeup and you see it. But there was another palette, blush palette, that was gorgeous that was the one that I wanted I didn't realize there were three different ones and it was the plum one it was so pretty and that was the one that I meant to buy so thank god I do like that blush in the center of that palette but I'll try out the the peach ones too when I'm doing that type of look This is some heavy-duty stuff, guys. If you use this on your waterline, this is going nowhere. It's not going to migrate. It's not going to do anything, and it it is somewhat difficult to remove it at the end of the day. But that's why I like it, because it shows up, because where my eyes water, I need something heavy-duty like that. Wet n Wild Eyelash Curler. So yeah, does anybody still use Wet n Wild Nutty? I think this is such a beautiful one and done eyeshadow. You know, sometimes you just want something simple. You don't want to do anything really complicated. And this is one of those eyeshadows that automatically looks a bit deeper in the crease for some reason because of like the shape of your eye and stuff the shadow like transforms almost like into two different shadows and that with brulee as your highlighter and you're you're good to go lottie london super fake mascara I've had this for a while and it is not drying out. It's still like nice apl uh, application wise. I have a backup of this mascara too. I feel like between this and the CoverGirl one, I'm kind of all set. I don't think I would buy backups of any of the other mascaras that I've tried. There's been some good ones, but I don't like them as much as these two. There's good and then there's great, you know? Because the L'Oreal Panorama one is good too, but it's not great. And I have some others that are also good. But I really, really, really like the Lottie London and the CoverGirl. And the CoverGirl one is mainly because of the color. All right, lips. Now for lips, 
I told you that I was going to show you all the different colors of the elf pout clouts or clout pouts, which is it, pout clouts, lip plumping pens, um, and incorporate them into videos. So today we're doing the plum. So first I'm going to use my elf cream glide lip liner in plum and get it. And I'm just lining, I'm not filling in. And only click it up as far as you need it because you can't get it back down once you eject a certain amount of product. Oh, that's pretty. So did I tell you the name of this? Plum on over. These are very heavy, very shiny, plumping, tingling lip product very moisturizing, um, gorgeous. And But if you don't like plumping lip products that tingle, it, it t will tingle for at least an hour, maybe even longer. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful, excellent product. $8, I think, on the e.l.f. website for now only but we'll be coming to Walmart very soon. But yeah, I love these. I'm so glad I got them in every color. I think people are just going to go crazy over these, and I think they are going to be probably difficult to get at some point once the word gets out how awesome they are. So I'm really glad I got them in all the colors. And I will continue to show you, you know, incorporate them all into the, the videos. All right, and before I forget, Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. So that is the completed look. I like the plum lips and the plum blush with the warm taupe and green eyes. And yeah, that CoverGirl eyeshadow stick worked good as an eyeliner because it had a very small tip on it. So it's actually better for that probably than if you were using it as an eyeshadow, you would have to like put a whole bunch of it on a brush and just keep going back and doing that over and over again. So I think it's better as a liner. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And if you like this video, you know what to do. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.